Today we make one of the creamiest, most delicious, cheesy pastas you will ever make with three Italian meats. The other day I made a flatbread from my new restaurant, Gray's. Look at that. Come on, little guy. It had Italian sausage, capicola, which we call gabagool because of the Sopranos, and soppressata. Today, Max said, let's make sausage pasta, which in our family we call saucy pasti. Ah, the kids were little, it was an easy thing to say. Something we've made forever, and it's made with Italian sausage and pasta and cream, and it is simple and crazy freaking delicious. And then I thought, wait, let's add the other couple of meats, like we did with the flatbread, just to take it up a level or two. And Max said, Let's do it. He said it with a lot more enthusiasm than Let's do it! Thank you. What are we today? All business. Thank you. We're all business. And that means everybody is fully in. But before I start, I got a comment on our last video. I have a rather ugly burn on my hand here that I could have, A, put a big Band-Aid on, which I find gross. I could have worn like a, a latex glove like they use in the back of a kitchen. But I chose to try and hide it. I don't like the look of the glove and I don't like a big Band-Aid. Somebody had to bitch me out for it. Me, 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 me. It's a fairly close um, translation of what they said. Something like this. Sam, me, 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 You suck. I was like, ah, I know it's not attractive. So I'm gonna deal with it right now. I'm just gonna cover it up. Piece of shit, get it on my case and stuff. Like, I don't like it. There it is, there, there, it's covered up. Thank you. I will now spend the entire rest of this episode with this black gaff tape on my hand covering up my injury that I got in the pursuit of excellent, delicious food for you guys and the people at uh, my restaurants. We okay with this? It's ridiculous. Let's start by cooking some spicy Italian sausage. I love this part. So we start with about a half a pound of spicy, uncooked Italian sausage in the pan. The sizzling sound will tell you that the pan is already hot. There's no oil in here. Because this spicy Italian sausage is a little bit fatty, we will be adding some, but for now, we just want to get it browning. And because it's non-stick, it doesn't stick. Amazing concept. And the goal is simple. Break it up, get it into smaller pieces, and get it cooking. And when it's mostly cooked, and almost all the pig is gone, we add the other two meats. One is the soppressata, and you can put the pieces in big like this, but I like to rip them up. I think that's better. I think it's more interesting. I think it's more fun. So just pull them apart and then drop them in. So we're breaking, we're ripping, we're tossing in. We're getting yelled at by Max for having our hand in the way when it's not supposed to be in the way. I'm just trying to cook. We just had a backhanded comment about it. It wasn't backhanded, or there was nothing backhanded at all. It was absolutely right straightforward. You don't know that people don't like being told not to get mad? Max is trying. It's funny, we're both aiming at the same thing. A cooking channel with gorgeous video, but great information and great food. And Max has his priorities higher than mine, apparently. Next, the capicola or the gavagol. Same thing. We rip, we tear, and we drop. We're just trying to get all these guys in in a lovely, mixed sort of way. And when you got in what you want, give it a little stir. Next up, some garlic. And I always say this, before I put garlic in, just a little shot of oil, a little olive oil to help the garlic not burn and start to do its thing. Amazing this smell. And always, after about 45 seconds, 
when you really get it fragrantness probably not a word coming out all these gorgeous meats are amazing and fatty and glistening our next most important ingredient goes in about a cup of cream Now we don't want to boil this. We want to just bring it to a simmer and then turn it down a bit. And over the next few minutes, it's going to start to thicken. Starts to bubble around the edges. We turn it down to a simmer. And now we can add the pasta to our water. So f***ing excited. Right, so here's what we're going to do. Our sausage our capicola, I mean gabagoo, and the sopressato, and the cream are starting to thicken beautifully. I'm gonna pull these away, put them on a lower heat, bring my water over to the center, and when this comes to a rapid boil, which is now, the pasta goes into heavily salted water. We stir it because there's a chance it'll clump and that will make you very unhappy when it's all done. Stir, 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 just for a second. And now we leave it. And in about eight, nine minutes, that's ready. And while the pasta cooks, we give it just two more things. One, some butter, just to richen it up a little bit. And two, a really nice pinch of red pepper flakes. Yes, we'll season with salt and pepper as we get closer, but right now, this is all it needs. Oh, and there's cheese coming. I don't think I mentioned that, but it's on its way. So this richens, this thickens, and when the pasta's ready and your sauce is gorgeous, we take it over and we put it all together. So the goal is simple. We take our pasta, we go into our pot. I have a Chinese fishing net with this big ass thing that would let me do this virtually in one swipe, but I don't have it with me today, so. And when they're all in, we add some Parmesan cheese. Okay, some, a bunch. It's like three quarters of a cup. A big pinch of kosher salt and pepper. And we mix. Forget that. Let's use a spoon. So gorgeous so far. But I promised creamy, and yes, it does definitely look like that. But I wanted a little creamier. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the pasta water that I saved back. And you wanna keep the pasta water because it's got the natural starch from the pasta when it was cooking and is absolutely the right thing to use. Put a couple ladles. And you'll see how magical this will become. Oh, the smell from here, unbelievable. Look at that stringy cheese. So mix, mix, mix. I think we're there, folks. See down here the sauce in the bottom? It's just like a nice light little layer. You can see it when you pull, drag the spoon back, that. It doesn't fill in too quickly. Ah, that means it's thick and gorgeous. To finish this off, three more things, but only one more new ingredient. So a little more parm. Some fresh ground black pepper. And the new ingredient, a little parsley. And there you have it. Creamy three meat gemelli pasta. Looking about as gorgeous as it could be. And I want to eat the f out of that. And now it's time. I've chosen a spoon. But before I do, Stupid thing is bound my hand. 
whole time. Oh. Yeah, take it off right before we do the beauty shots. Ow! I just want it off. My hand's sweating under this stupid tape. I'm gonna eat with my left hand. Oh, God. But come on, let's have a bite. Look it. Oh. The beautiful cheesiness. The amazing bite this is gonna be. Some sausage, I see a little gabagool. Yum. <laughs> the smell. <sighs> I smell pepper, hint of garlic, a lot of cheese. Oh my God, that. All right, I gotta say this. Let's say you're not a meat eater. Would this be amazing? Yes. Let's say you are a meat eater. This would be like mind blowing. The bites of everything is ridiculous. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. And then you take a little bread, and you break this, it's so hard to do this with my hand. Just make a little bite like this. Oh God, look it. Look at that and some of the pasta. Oh, that's ridiculous now. That's insanity. <laughs> I can't believe it. Mm. The recipe The recipe for sausage pasta is on my website at thecookingguy.com. It calls for Italian sausage. It doesn't call for gabagool and it doesn't call for soppressata. I changed it. I think it got better. I think it's like a pound of Italian sausage. So make it a third, a third, a third. Make it whatever you want. Get prosciutto, put prosciutto in. Just make it, whatever you do. Holy smokes. Thanks for seeing you. <laughs> Thanks for seeing you. Hit, hit the hit save. Just. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Thanks for liking. What it, wait, what is it? Smashing what? the like button? Yeah. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. Max wants me to say something I, I won't say. Say it. Smash it. Smash the like button. He goes, it's a YouTuber thing. I'm not ever saying that. Just do it. Mm. No, I'll say that. Mm. I'll say Just the words. Just like that. It's so easy. Why is it a YouTuber thing? Why? I don't know. What else am I supposed to do? It goes back to the old days. I'm not the old days. The old days of YouTube. Like what? An hour ago? I will never. I'll say the word smash and I'll say like and maybe even button, but not no sentence altogether. Certainly not all in a row. Okay, the knife is here, well, here. You can pre-order it, you won't get it till May, but I'm really excited. This is it, the Sam the Cooking Guy seven inch Nakiri. It's got the wide blade, so you can chop and scoop and then put into a pot or a pan. It's got a beautiful pack of wood handle. My logo, my dumb face logo is on the butt of it. And it's great. It has these Granton edge, the, the Granton edge, these little hollow grounds keep food from sticking like 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 some other knives like you cut some cheese and it sticks it won't stick to this. anyways here's what i'm here to say i'm here to say you can now pre-order this go to the link you'll be very happy i think you'll get it in may is that such a big deal i don't think so just hit the link and all will be well